Hey. And so what's happened? It finally has happened. The culmination of all the Marvel shows on Netflix have finally come together. And we have gotten the Defenders. Yes, this is an eight-part show, which is kind of annoying because all the other ones were 13 episodes. But they have finally smashed together Daredevil, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and Jessica Jones, and all their casts. And they've made this glorious mess that is called The Defenders. And so let's jump into it. Let's, let's give you the review of The Defenders. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to start talking about the plot. Now, the plot is kind of a culmination, like I said, of a lot of the other twist, uh, intertwining stories that you found in, especially Iron Fist and Daredevil. It's mostly those two. But I, I believe little peeps of it happened in, in Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. You kind of saw little bits here and there of what it is. But it's pretty much, if you haven't been following it, it's the hand is finally really coming on to New York City. They're about to unleash their final plan to world for world domination, pretty much, for lack of a better term. And that's where it goes. So the series started out pretty slow, I'll be honest with you. It, it They did a lot of jumping, especially the first couple episodes, between character and character and character. And it feels like they almost uh, could have done the same amount in one or two episodes or one and a half episodes that they did in the first four episodes because there was a lot of keeping the characters separate in the beginning now little interactions like daredevil and jessica jones met up he's her lawyer now for some reason you know uh or, well not for some reason it makes sense when you watch the show uh luke cage and iron fist kind of met up and, and you know and like had little interactions but they kept splitting back up and it wasn't until like the fourth or maybe even the fifth episode where they really came together and, and started the team that they're going to be so it was kind of slow to start but once they did get them all together it was it was very entertaining it really took mm. off from there and it moved pretty well but again it was eight episodes and they took four episodes to set up with all these characters that already had shows that set them all up so yeah I, the pacing on several of the the other shows seemed off like like i said iron fist was not happy with the pacing on that one either so yeah. I don't know. They got to maybe, maybe that's just a thing that they're they're not great with, or they're yeah. planning for so much more at seasons. Yeah, like eh, well, like I said, I mean, they did everything enough. I mean, it felt like by the end of the show, I did feel satisfied. I, I wish I could have gotten another two episodes, or maybe a little, two episodes left of less of the, you know, getting everybody together. But uh, you know, plot was pretty good all in all, but slow to start off. Uh, went well after that. Um, then we have the acting. Now the group from Daredevil, uh, you know. Matt Murdock, Karen Page, and Foggy Nelson, the actors who play all those people, was, was by far and away the best group in there. And you could kind of tell that they were almost, not, I don't want to say class above, because like Rosario Dawson gives a great performance um, as Rosie the nurse. And I think it's Rosie. Um, but uh, no, Clara. Yeah, it's Claire the nurse. Sorry. Um, but it, it, you could really tell who the best group of this all these series was and that was daredevils now it kind of went downhill a little bit from there luke cage wasn't bad but he wasn't great uh jessica jones actually i thought she did a lot better in this one because she had a lot of great moments and i gotta say this is a weird thing but i just noticed Kristen ritter has amazing hair she just really does it's it's a very attractive feature i don't know i, uh, I now we know what brian cares about I, I, she nice hair has really nice hair she has really nice hair that's all i'm gonna say it's very full of volume and it bounces it's great great shine I, I don't know it just was a weird thing that i was like hey that 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 looks good on her but i digress but jessica jones she actually christian ritter did a lot better in this series than i think she even did in her own um and it was very entertaining and then unfortunately the iron fist group was pretty much you could tell that they were the the, the bottom rung of that ladder so uh acting overall was good but it, you know you could definitely see there was better actors and not so good actors uh it was pretty distinctive um and then what am i getting to and then so directing um now the first half of the series again when they're all kind of coming together feels very disjointed with the directing it, it feels like you're going from you're skipping between their shows. And I don't know, maybe they did that on purpose because you did get like the Daredevil vibe from some of Daredevils. You got the Luke Cage vibe from Luke Cage's. It, it didn't feel cohesive. Did, it just felt like it was the four shows just being kind of cut together. Did the shows have different um, like production groups or teams doing the uh, whole I'm thing? Sure they had different directors. And, and did they, they, did. I mean, did they carry that over and try and just like have them all meshed like together? Said, when, when the characters were by themselves in the first couple episodes it felt like when you saw matt murdoch there was more of the daredevil style when you saw jessica jones it was more of the jessica jones style luke cage like even when luke cage that, came on they would change the music drastically uh, pretty much to be more the luke cage music and it just really felt like for the first couple episodes they just uh each one of them filmed their own series and then they kind of just cut them yeah. together and it, that, just, it felt disjointed 
that would be interesting, but I could see going very wrong, like you're saying, becoming very disjointed, if they actually did use different teams to put together this. It's, it's just that's just what it felt like to me, and I could be wrong, but it's just what it felt like to me. Um, now, when they did get the whole group together in the middle of the season, um, everything after that was just spectacular. It, it felt like this is where it kind of felt like the Daredevil crew took over, and the ones who did the first two seasons, and which by far the best, um, and took over from there. And so you got more of the Daredevil quality stuff um, rather than everybody just kind of mashed together. So directing again, just like the plot starts off kind of rocky but refines itself towards the end so at least they give you a happy ending there um and then action which is this is an action show so we have to talk about it uh i think they did a good job highlighting each one of the um different heroes abilities jessica jones she's not really a a fighter as in kung fu or anything but she's got a lot of strength and she she knows she's witty she can uh, she's clever she'll kick your butt whichever way she needs to I think they did a good job with that. Luke Cage, um, Iron Fist. And then there was a couple times where the characters fought each other, which they actually did that more in the first couple episodes than they fought the hand. But hmm. uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, the only time I really thought it was interesting was when Iron Fist and Luke Cage actually first met each other and fought. And that was that was a lot of fun. But other than that, the, it was kind of bland until, again, they all come together. When they were kind of doing their things on the side, it wasn't that great. But when they come together, it really it did fit. And towards the end, you could really see them grow together as a team and working together more. So I did like seeing that progression through the series. And if that's something they were planning on, like, okay, it doesn't work in the beginning and then it looks good at the end. Okay, well, they grew together as a team. Fair enough. I'll, I'll accept that right there. But it, it, it just it felt weird. And they did something like they do this every time they do it. And they did this a lot in uh, Daredevil. And they do do this a lot in Iron Fist where they do these really cool flips and every time they do it i'm like oh my god look at that flip and like that's awesome and like but then they land and they you realize he just did a flip in the air for no reason and it's just like wow why didn't the guy punch him when he landed instead of just letting him do this like acrobatic move for no purpose Mm. yeah so because it looks cool (laughs) every time they did it i was like wow that looks awesome and then i'm like but it served no point so you know Neither here nor there, but the action overall was pretty good. So overall, my score for the Defenders season one, I don't know if there'll be another season, is three and a half out of five mm. Chewbacca Chainsaw. Now, that's a pretty solid score. It's not a great score, but it's well, for a solid some, score. I, I, I would say it. that might be a little disappointing, though, for how much lead in this series oh, had. F- you know, had four, 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 four different shows, shows five seasons, five seasons. Yeah, five seasons of it. Now, lots of anticipation see. that they were talking about all the way of, of here we're going to bring these guys together, and now it's it, it's okay, it's it's decent, right? We were we were hoping it's for you know average. knockout it's here. It's above average. It's above average. It was very entertaining. Is, is I, it I, worth I, all I, the I watching all the other series to get yeah, to this point? Well, it's just worth watching all those other series. So maybe not. Maybe skip jessica jones and half of iron fist well not all of jessica jones skip jessica jones until david Tennant really shows up then skip uh through uh luke cage you can just skip every other episode there <laughs> then skip half of iron fist but religiously watch all of daredevil and you, you're good <laughs> the like, words from my face plan for watching right. the netflix marvel shows yeah. Now, I enjoyed all of them, to be honest with you, but that's just my giving you the average viewer yeah. out there, the person who might not be into this stuff as much as I am. Uh, yeah, that's how no. that's, if you want to get into it, there, boom, that's how you now, do it. Now, though, with that established, one more question for you. If I get this right, we have four citizens of New York City yes. coming together with uh-huh. martial arts backgrounds of some sort mm-hmm. to fight... Uh, a large organization called The Hand. Yes, and I, I, I see the Ninja Turtle parallels you're drawing here. Yes. I, Which came first? I, I, knew, <laughs> I knew what he was coming after. Once he said four citizens, I was like, okay, Ninja Turtles. Hmm. And yes, yes, no, it does not handle hold a candle to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze, but no movie ever will. Yeah. No, but I'm thinking, like, which came first? Was Ninja Turtles supposed to be referencing Defenders, or was Defenders, Defenders referencing Ninja Turtles? The foot, the hand, come on. The foot, the hand. Maybe they're in a shared universe, and we're going to have a Defenders and Ninja Turtles mashup. Boom, Disney send me money. They, they it's me. Disney has to acquire those rights first for Ninja Turtles. No, it's cool. Disney send me money. <laughs> Just send you money beforehand. Just, <laughs> just send me money. Just send it to me, and it's cool. 
But hit us up. Let us know what you think. Did you like the Defenders as much as I did? Do you like it more? Do you like it less? Hit us up. Let us know what you thought about the show. Comments down below, of course. At what's my face on Twitter and Google Plus and Facebook. Oh, as good ways of getting a hold of us. Let's keep on a roll.